Hey folks, well, I thought I'd try something new today. Uh, I'm using OBS to record this session to kind of streamline things. Uh, hopefully the quality is not too degraded. I am using webcams versus my uh, DSLR over there. But uh, I thought it would be an easy way to kind of quickly uh, move through all the submissions. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about how to submit if you'd like to be on this program also. And that's all coming up right after this. Hey YouTube, this is Peck Tech, and a few weeks ago I did a Send Me Your Tanks uh, call out, uh, and I was uh, frankly overwhelmed with submissions. Like there were there were way more submissions than I thought. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe some, you know, it was like, well, uh, maybe a few people want to show me their aquariums, but it turns out, you know, lots and lots and lots of you sent, uh, and these are just the ones I didn't get to in the last video. I mean, they're just are honestly so so many submissions uh way more than than i really anticipated so uh what i thought i would do is is kind of try to see if i could streamline it and try it in a different way so what i'm doing is i'm recording this in obs as if it was a live stream it lets me uh like tie in my phone and some other stuff and maybe could streamline the process. The last Show Me Your Tanks video I made uh, took me about eight hours to, to put together because I had to like match up what I was talking about with the things that I saw. And looking at the pictures on my phone, really I couldn't see them as well, you know, as I did later when I blew them up and felt like I missed a few things. The other thing, before we get started, I want to tell you, uh, I am still ex accepting submissions, and I'll continue doing this. What I think I might do is, um, I'm going to play it by ear as far as how often I do this. I, I could do it, if I do it like this, I could probably do it like once a week. So if you guys are still liking it, I can, uh, I can maybe do one of these uh, every week as an extra video. Or I could perhaps do more of them more often and not make them 40 minute videos like i mean if i do maybe a 10 minutes but uh, uh maybe two or three videos a week but they're 10 minutes long and i'll make these uh during the week videos i'll try to still do like a little bit nicer video for sunday you know the way i usually do what you're typically used to seeing on this channel i can focus on getting that done by sunday and uh, i've got a couple of cool projects to work on but this will be kind of a way to kind of fill in the gaps and show you guys some extra stuff. Maybe get you inspired to look and see what other people are up to. So moving forward, I'd like to ask for, for something a little bit more specific. Since there's going to be a lot of submissions, I assume. Uh, I'd like to do something more specific as far as like how you submit. You're going to see information on how to submit photos that you'd like to do when I switch views in just a second. And I'd like you to follow that exactly. My plan is to sort of automate the message retrieval and, and uh, relegating these things to a folder that I can go through and pick through. Um, I also cannot guarantee I'll use every submission uh, as I, you know, I'd like to, but I can't guarantee I'm going to use every single submission. Uh, I want to ask you to send one photo or maybe one photo and a video if you like, a uh, very small, maybe 10 second video. Uh, if you want to, if you send me something on Instagram or Facebook or any of those other places, I can't take it. Uh, it's only going to be stuff that comes in through email and I'm going to, it just has to be that way just to keep me organized and keep, uh, keep all this stuff kind of wrangled in where it needs to be. That being said, the first time I did a call out, there were a lot of Facebook submissions. So just this once I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to show the people cause there were some really nice tanks and I hate to kind of just like let it go. So when I did the call out on Facebook, I'd like to show you what people sent me there because there were some really, really nice submissions. And uh, I don't want to just kind of leave them out just because I, at that point, I was like, send them to me here and there and there. And I just can't do that. That was, that was really dumb. That was a really dumb of me to say. <laughs> but since you guys, but since there was such an overwhelming response, I really want to just kind of keep the ball rolling and, and, uh, and do this in an organized way. And that's kind of the way it needs to be. Okay, so here I am on Facebook. This is uh, this is what I sent out to the world, uh, asking for your aquariums and stuff, so we could talk about it. And let's go ahead and scroll down. 
and uh, take a look at the comments here. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. So we've got a really nice looking low-tech nano tank. Let's see if I can kind of bring this up. Really neat. I like the little I like the little sculpture next to it. I think that's really cool. Uh, can I zoom in? Oh, I can. Oh, some pretty guppies in there. Some neon tetras, I think. I'm trying to tell what rock that is. That might be like dragonstone or something like that. This sort of look. This looks like like looks like a new setup to me. It's very clean. Uh, I had to bury some, uh, get those plants, plant roots going into the ground uh, eventually. That's well, kind of a cool little tank. That looks like a, a neat little desk tank or something like that. I like it. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Scott Moore. Wow, very well planted. Very well planted tank. Oh, what is that? Oh, those look like some of the same stem plants I have in my 16-gallon downstairs. How interesting. Nice wood on there. Is that wood and, like, stone kind of mixed together? All right, pretty cool. Overall, I really like the look of it. Very neat little tank there. Okay, who else we got? We got Joyce. All right. Very simple there. Very simple. Nice use of Anubius. Anubius, I think Anubius are my favorite plant. It really, um, I think it really spruces up pretty much any aquascape too. Very pretty. I gotta tell you folks, this is a lot easier. We'll probably do this from now on. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully the quality is good. Let me know in the comments down below if you felt like I'm representing these tanks well enough. Uh, and I could, I, this is the amount of the screen that I'm showing. Uh, I'm streaming this right off my phone. My, my phone is, is plugged in and I'm streaming it right off here. So hopefully it, uh, the width is about as far as it can go. I went ahead and just added a video of me in here to kind of fill in the gap on the other side. And we got your submission info right there uh, in case you want to submit something later. Uh, let's see. Ooh, got some Mirmo balls. These are neat little algae balls. Uh, you've probably seen them before. If you're new to aquarium keeping and stuff, they're pretty cool. They hold their shape for a while. And, uh, and then they start to get kind of fluffy. Like you can see this one's kind of like starting to grow out. They don't grow in a uniform way usually. And um, for that re and sometimes they, they collect a lot of debris. And for that reason, I don't usually, I don't use them a lot. I have in the past. Uh, one neat thing I've seen that people do, like this thing I just did with James a couple of weeks ago. Some people will flatten them out and make like, uh, make them into sort of a carpeting thing. And, uh, turn it and use them another way. So I think uh, I think there's a lot of uses for mirror mobiles, and they're kind of they do look neat for a long time. Uh, I'm not dissing your balls there. All right, so oh wow, I really like the plants that they use in here. Got kind of an eclectic use of stones. It's like we got some. Uh, I'm not sure what this red one is, but these other ones are obviously they're either pumice or they're lava rock or something like that and we got some dragon stone over here overall i think this tank looks really pretty um when you aquascape you should probably you got some cholo wood shoved in the corner you might want to um uh, the the more consistent you are with your rocks like you can you can change up your rocks a little bit here and there but you've got a, a lot of different kinds of rocks there i my advice would be you know probably stick with uh, one particular type of rock but it doesn't deter from this tank at all it looks it looks like a neat little tank uh, let's see fluval flex nine gallon five emerald resbora one galaxy resbora five peacock gudgeon 
Wow. Two dwarf colon. Okay. That's, to me, that sounds like a lot of fish for a nine gallon. You might be a little bit overstocked there. I uh, got a lot of water spots too. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. I think you're probably a little overstocked there. Just, just my opinion on that. Uh, I swear this set up before I started watching your channel. <laughs> uh, Anita Davis says, I swear I set this up before I started watching your channel. Fluval Flex 15 with Crips, Java Fern, Anubius, Barcopa, Residents or Beta, Chain Loaches, <laughs> Danger Noodles. <laughs> and the light controlled by Broadcom Mini, uh, Broadcom RM Mini. So I can have 24 7 timer schedule just like the light on the Megaflex. Ooh, very cool. Oh, and that's a, that's a nice, nice balanced looking tank. Wow, that looks great. See the little chain ledges down there? Well, one of them anyway. And I think the beta was up on the other corner. No, maybe that's a plant. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool looking tank. Uh, I like the I like the way it visually it kind of goes from one side to the other. We got a nice little slope there. I like it. I like it. It's good design. It's sometimes it's hard to work with the with the flex tanks because they're they're kind of curved and square all at the same time. You got some curved edges in the front, and then the and the overall square shape of the rest of it. it looks nice and healthy in there. Good job. Uh, Cynthia DeMarcus, my spec five gallon, is three ember tetras that like to hide. Yeah, they're going to hide from you because there's probably not, a, one, there's either not enough of them, or two, uh, they like, uh, it's too bright. They like it dark. Uh, they like a lot of, a lot of cover. Like the more floating plants you have, it seem, they seem more comfortable once you add floating plants in there, and they like to, for there to be more of them. Um, obviously you can only go so far in a spec five gallon, but boy, that looks good. You set them up a lot like I do, um, which I approve of. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, that looks really cool. I, I like how, I, what I like to do also is I fill up that corner, that wall, that black wall where the where the filter is and stuff i like to fill that up since the other side's open to view and uh maybe just kind of only partially cover the other side looks really good like you got the flanking anubius that tank grows anubius like crazy uh you got some crypts coming up here you're gonna have to keep an eye on those uh those things do like to kind of uh take over eventually uh looks like a an older Miramo ball and maybe some squished up other Miramo balls. I'm not sure what's happening right there, but, um, yeah, you could probably, you could probably get away with some, um, crypt parv right there in the middle where these, where those moss balls are. You could probably do some crypt parv or something like that. Might look a little prettier. It takes, it takes a long time to grow them in. So get a bunch of them if you do it and spread them out all throughout that area but looks good spec five gallon oh cynthia sent another one in okay 55 with some potted crips oh wow i love these fish these things are great uh, now that i'm on the spot here being recorded i can't remember what they're called dens denzen barbs or uh Oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, supposedly they're spectacular algae eaters too, so that's really cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, kind of basic there. Uh, the way she's done her crypts here, if you don't have great substrate, but you want to add some plants to your tank, you, that's a cool little trick. Is you can add these, uh, you can add potted plants to, to other tanks. Now she's got a lot of substrate, but she might be propagating these to move to something else later on. But uh, that's pretty neat. 
All right, let's move it on. Cynthia again. Okay, Cynthia. That's the Cynthia show today, I think. Let's take a look at this one, though. All right. Very good. Dude, this is all Anubius in here. Look at that. Some more squished up Miramo balls. Those are those got to be a little squished up Miramo balls. Ooh, it looks like you need to scrape your glass a little bit, Cynthia. <laughs> Overall, really cool looking tank. All right, Lewis. Let's see what you got, Lewis here. Oh, very cool. This is very, very clean. Look how clean that glass is. Wow. That water is just like crystal clear. My goodness. Uh, I think that's Ciro Stone. Ciro Stone. Got some Val there. I'd be worried about that Val taking over. Oh, yeah, look at the top. So this is what happened with me when I tried to use Val. Is it grew up and it grew over and then it it covered everything and started like shadowing out the tank to the point where it was sort of becoming a problem. Looks good there though. I'm not sure what these plants are at the bottom, but those are really neat. Oh, is that dwarf sag? It probably is dwarf sag. Okay, so a lot of these are stem plants that are just trimmed really, really low. And I'm not sure... Uh, this has got to be kind of a newer tank. I can always spot them. Because the, this this looks like it was just planted. It hasn't spread any at all. Uh, that plant will spread quite a bit. And these things... These things normally when you see them, they grow pretty tall. Oh, wow. I think you've got... almost. A, my, I have an endler that looks so similar to that i'm trying to i'm trying to breed some more of them so i've got my eye out when i see more of them really cool little tank i like it good job lewis uh zachary merrill a few of my tanks okay got a couple of pictures here all combined into one these are great little simple tanks i like that oh that's that uh fluval chi i think it was called I got so many requests to build this one, but I wasn't really a fan of the of the plastic top there, that this plastic filter area. I wasn't a huge fan of that. I, I I'm not dissing it. Like I'm not saying it's a bad tank if you got one. Uh, it's pretty neat. Looks like it can. It's trying to grow some plants in there. All right, let's see what else you got here. That's a cute little tank too. You know, very basic. You know, you don't have to do a lot. It's funny, you add plants, it automatically just makes them, makes them better. That looks pretty good, too. It's like you got a good start there with those tanks. And let's see. Uh, Jeremy Woodward, top fan. What is this? This is a, looks like Fluval Flex 15 gallon. Very neat. Very cool. I wonder if that's the stock light because uh, that looks great. It's like he's got a little Monte Carlo carpet going on. I could not get mine to do a carpet with Monte Carlo with the light that was in it. I could with I could with this light, <laughs> but I've chosen not to. But um, wow, that looks cool. Good job there. Okay, so <clears throat> something that they've done here, which is interesting, is they've they've taken their hardscape across the back, it looks like. I'm kind of guessing, right? Because I all I got is this photo to look at, right? But they've taken this, this hardscape across the back, and then they've put... So it looks like they've put perhaps smaller plants on top of the hardscape and stuff, and kind of giving you that depth. But... Um, the swords and stuff are, and these, uh, whatever this, um, type of, uh, Java fern is, are a bit tall, so they're kind of all on the same level. It'd be neat if you had something that was a little bit taller in the back, like just, just a little bit more to differentiate the foreground and the mid, or the background and the midground. Your foreground's nice and flat and, and small, 
It makes the midground really easy to see, but I feel like the background stuff's kind of getting lost there. Just my opinion, but uh, it does it does look good in there. And if you got stuff that'll grow taller, I can't I can't actually tell what some of these are, but uh, maybe it's new and they'll grow up a little bit taller and be better. But but be thinking about that. Uh, that is a neat idea, though. I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> So I could put like like mid ground plants in the background just by raising them up on another level with the set with the uh, with the terrain, kind of cool there. All right, so what we got here? Five gallon, uh, two point five gallon fluval and a fluval flex nine gallon. Okay. Oh, there's that ornament again. I have that same ornament, this one, and it, it broke in half and it's laying in the back of my twenty seven gallon. You can't even see it now, but. My shrimp love to hide in there. All right. That looks kind of interesting too. I had a dragon once, I think. I used to really like ornaments. I, I, I don't use them very much anymore. All right. Very neat little submissions there. Let's move on. Um, is this it? This is the end of them. Wow. Okay, so... Let's take a look at this one here. All right, kind of a tangly bunch of plants there on the side. That's fun. I like the way they did the. Uh, I like the way you did your your uh, dragon stone there across. Kind of a nice rocky alcove there in the middle of the tank. It looks like because there's plants behind it. Uh, you probably, uh, hopefully your plants will grow up and you'll be able to hide your heater well. I don't usually like to see equipment in there. I It's not always possible to hide it too. Like I fully realize, I've got, I'm sitting here looking over here at a tank where you can very clearly see the heater. You can't always hide it, but uh, one thing that probably would help is if you blacked out your background, like got either black paper or paint it black or do what you know something like that then everything that's black on this heater would just disappear into it yeah you know, you'd set up your little blue top and the words and stuff like that and whatever you know the, the other mechanical elements in there but the rest of it would disappear and your filter and that cord and stuff would disappear too and this little sponge filter or uh, probably intake cover or whatever that is would disappear it's uh Black's great, and when you when you're in theater, if you're building sets for theater, that's like the big thing that they that they teach you is that anything you don't want to see, you just paint it black. And a black background is great for hiding a lot of equipment. But I gotta say, it's a pretty tank, and uh, I'm sure your fish will be happy to live in there. And that's about it. That's about it for the uh, for the submissions from facebook and i really appreciate you guys sending the, me those submissions um, hopefully i hopefully i've evaluated you fairly and uh you don't feel too miss miffed if i uh if i had some critiques now and then <clears throat> i'm going to wrap that up for now i'm trying to keep this one as short as possible uh, so I can do more. We definitely back into my email. Uh, I probably will do a mixture of some older ones that were sent in on the initial flood and any newer ones that come in. Uh, wh what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pick some of my favorites out of these. And for that reason, I can't guarantee every picture. Uh, if you've already sent a picture and feel like you could take a better one or uh, want to try again for you know a little bit better picture, uh, you can send that in. Uh, I do want you to do your best to take a nice clean photo of your aquarium. Uh, I'm going to be showing your aquarium to thousands, literally thousands of people. So let's try your best to do like a high effort photograph. And by that, I mean, clean the water spots off, make sure it's nice and clean in there. Take, take a, your best photo of your best tank and send it in. Uh, if you send in a couple of photos, I may pick my favorite one out of the photos that you sent and then talk about that. Uh, another thing people that had suggested is that I mix up some stuff where I go, uh, here's a selection of 10 gallon tanks, you know, like for different sizes. I may do that as well. 
uh, the more streamlined I get, the more organized I get, the more I can kind of do different things and try to make this uh, try to make this an interesting thing for people to watch. A lot of people said they were inspired by seeing other people's tanks and uh, kind of getting ideas for how do they want to do their tank. So, and there's only so many tanks I can show you. So I, I think it's a valuable show. I think it's a fun way to do this. And hopefully you do too. But that's all I got for today. Until we meet again, follow your bliss, keep a clean tank, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.